how did you get in boxing? Is it like Mark Wahlberg said, boxing chooses you, you don't choose boxing? That's my first question. My second question is uh, Al Heyman, the search of Al Heyman. Is this going to help uh, this business or not? All the time he bought, all the fighters he's got, where, uh, where do you think this is heading? Okay, how do I get into boxing? I'll start with that one because it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I'm the grandson of Italian immigrants, so you know my grandfathers came to this country and they adopted baseball uh, as one of their sports, but you know there wasn't a lot of soccer being televised, international soccer at that point in time. You know the big sport on network TV, you know ABC, NBC, growing up ESPN when it first started, but really when I was a kid it was. It was on the broadcast networks, um, you know, it was boxing. So I watched it with my grandfathers. There was an Italian middleweight champion named Nino Benvenuti um, fighting around the same time Ali was a young fighter. And, you know, I worshipped Ali. And I watched the fights, you know, from Italy with Nino Benvenuti with my grandfathers. And I became a huge boxing fan. Um, later in life, I went to Harvard Law School. I became a lawyer for HBO. And I knew more about boxing than the guys who were buying fights at HBO. So um, my, my career sort of transformed and I went from being a lawyer to running HBO's boxing program. And um, I guess the rest is, is history. Um, with respect to Al Heyman, I, I respect the guy a lot. You know, I, I really do. And, and he's a friend. He's been a, he's been a friend of mine for 15 years. And um, you know, if you look at his history, he's been a manager uh, slash advisor. Um, but his fighters have historically made more money than they would have not been exploited or taken advantage of. And, uh, and he's done his job. And, and with respect to what he's trying to do now, I think it's a good segue. I, when I got interested in boxing as a kid, I was watching Leonard Hagler Duran's Hearn, you know, Hearn's uh, you know, Ali um, on network television. So now the return of boxing to network TV, in my mind, is an opportunity for the sport. Because the sport's been really more marginalized in recent years. It hasn't been growing. It's been getting smaller. And I, and I think that this effort to bring it to more eyeballs and create a new demographic um, is a positive. And you know, I'm, I don't want to be in a sport that contracts further. And, and frankly, Arnie, and you talked about this socially, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know how much longer I'd spend in the sport if I thought that it was going to continue to contract. So uh, I, I think the effort to bring it to more people, the effort to attract new and younger fans, um, I think that's an important thing. And, and I think. What he's trying to do right now um, really may help save the sport. You know, he's not chasing HBO or Showtime out of box. He's creating new platforms, and he's, and frankly, he's doing it with money he's raised. Um, it's a, it's a real honest effort to bring the sport back. I, I support it. 